um Dame Dash, Dame Dash too. Yeah. You seen that yeah, shit? Yeah. But Dame, it's like he's selling he's his sell, yeah, okay, go his remaining shares of Rockefeller. Right. That's your legacy. That. Yeah. It's your legacy. But I think you are, even if you sell a share, you don't think that he's still his name it's it's different when the money is coming in. Yeah. From, from your name being attached to something versus the amount of money that you make from it. I think some money is better than no money. Because think about it, in 50 years, when Hove is gone, like, knock on wood, but God forbid, in 50 years when Hove passes, all of his all of his catalog and everything is going to... Rockefeller. It's going to, it's going to skyrocket. Like, when Michael Jackson passed away, like, when somebody... Or when Hove does the fucking Super Bowl, he's going to do that. Right. Now you're missing out on that. We know that you was a part of it for, for namesake, but... You're not getting the bread for it, and he's not doing the best financially. Like he's doing better than me, but as opposed to where he should be, nah, man. You supposed to be living like L.A. Reading them niggas. Nah, for real. Like, like Russell Simmons, the niggas. greatest rapper, one of the greatest rappers of all time under your belt. Like nigga, you built it, and he, yeah, 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 came up under him too. Sad, so yeah, every got... time you talk about that nigga, you just he, every time I see him personally, I see him. He, they always ask him about Jay Z. Yeah, they don't really ask him this... about Dame Dash. It's like your greatest accomplishment in life. Just being we, associated we, with this nigga. But but that's a reminder that your greatest accomplishment was thirty years ago. So imagine how that make you feel like if niggas keep talking to you like you doing whatever you doing. We part of niggas be like man. Remember that time you pulled that one cute girl in high school? That's probably how that nigga feel like, bro. I'm not even the same nigga. I've yeah. been doing a lot, but it's not. It's it just. For your ego, that hurt, bro. Yeah, right. seen For your ego, on that timing, I'm like, like I don't want to talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason they put probably brought you over here though, because niggas not. You could be doing some of the shit, but you know, like you said, you known for that. You stamped for that, and you fucked it up too. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know what happened behind. It seems like he ain't really fucked it up. Yeah, I was gonna say, did he like really fuck it up? Differences, like they, they just got tired of doing business with him. Yeah, I, it, it got it got a, he. They both was wrong. I, that's and from my mind, I feel like Hove, Hove fucked up. Dame was fucking up, but Hove, I feel like Hove handled it wrong. So I didn't like that. Seems like Hove was real cold, like straight. Yeah, he cut pure like, capitalism. Just cutting niggas off. Like, you messing up this? I, I'm I'm doing it. All. I'm gonna do it myself. But for a while, we was already like we watched the shit from afar. Like you watch all the dog, you be like, oh, this was the moment where Hove stopped fucking with it. Oh, that shit is yeah, hilarious. Dame don't, <laughs> Dame don't be realizing, you know. Hey, that shit is funny as fuck, bro. All the other niggas in there, Hove's just standing like, man, I don't rock with these niggas, bro. Wait till this album drops. That shit is rap. hilarious, bro. It's I, not funny, but yeah, y'all. Hey, no, it's funny. It's funny. Nah, we can shit laugh at niggas' pain, bro. We can laugh at niggas' pain. But oh, I mean, Dame Dash, uh, that's one of the greatest, greatest business minds in hip hop history. But shit happens, bro. I feel like sometimes, like, your pride can get in the way of a lot of things. And I feel like that's kind of could have been some of his downfall. But you only had, I get on my shit again before you get into the next topic. But that's how they do with niggas, bro. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? You can't have too much confidence walking in these folks' shit and talking to them, walking in these folks' establishments and talking to them like, I'm the guy. You the nigga, yeah. Even though it's true, they don't, they, you gotta play the game. I think it, like, I, but with that, my bad. I think that with that, with the J and, and Dame shit, like, everybody gotta be on the same page yeah. in order for, if we gonna be the, it's like, you can be the nigga, yeah. yeah. But it's like, we the niggas. You know what I'm saying? If you're not, we the niggas, then hell yeah, divide and conquer every single time. That's that's the best, that's probably one of the best methods that they ever used against us. As long as we can divide these niggas, it's nothing that that them niggas can do. That's a fact. That's a good and point. That's a fact. Though, about to be on the same page. Jay-Z probably just got tired of like him doing shit that, that he didn't run past him. And, and bro probably felt like he didn't have to run it past him because I'm just as a boss as you is. And then, bro, you know, and they probably divided it up. Like, all right, man, just do your thing, then I'm going to do mine. Because you, you, seen outcome, the nation. Fact, you seen the outcome of that shit. Because Jay, Jay was the star. And he can still be the star and the business and the boss and all that. Nigga, I could do everything that it's you could do. Me. And I have the skills to take me to the next level. All these other niggas don't have that. Sorry, Facts. bro. Yeah, because he didn't have to search for the talent because he was the talent. It ain't like he was just the talent. It wasn't like it was Beanie Siegel, respectfully. It was Jay Z. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go from Drake and you just like, oh, I gotta find somebody else. Oh, bring Tiger on. Come on, come on, Tiger. Come on, gutter gutter. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's, that's how that shit be, bro. Uh, I love Dame. I I feel like the fact that his like his peak was so early, and when you when you set when you've seen what you can do and you set your mind on that. You're not gonna settle for nothing less. And I feel like he stopped, like he wouldn't take no deals for nothing less than what he wanted, right? Versus what it was actually valued at, right? But hey, man, whatever. Shout out to Dame, man, shout out, shout to, out to Dame, Dame. shout out to AP, shout man. To Protect your chickens, protect your chickens, protect your chickens. Shout out to Marshawn Lynch.